Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I am back to do another review. Yes, another review. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more, um, Spongebob reviews. Because, you know, why not? You guys seem to really like my Spongebob videos, because most of them have actually hit hundreds of views. More than my subscriber, my subscriber, um, count. So you guys must be really enjoying my, my Spongebob content. So I figured why not give you guys some more. Also, if we can get this channel to 300 subs, I'll actually have two more Spongebob videos for you guys. But we have to get this channel to 300 subs first. Now, now, the, now there, will pro there could be other Spongebob videos possibly before that, but... The, these two are special. One's a top 10, and the other is me reviewing a set of episodes. So, uh, yeah. So it'll be a, like, a long video of me reviewing a set of episodes. So we have to get this channel to 300 subs first, though. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this. Our first episode we're reviewing is called Rip Pants. Now, Rip Pants is an episode that came out quite a long time ago. It came out all the way back in Season 1. I gotta tell you guys... I gotta tell you guys though that... That Season 1 of uh, Spongebob... Was, was quite, quite interesting. I love Season 1. I felt like Season 1 of Spongebob was pretty good. But it was pretty good, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I kind of liked it ba back when they did cell animation, and not hit, like, like, like it was like hand drawn, you know, animation. Now they, you know, use um, you know, for two D animation, they use uh, you know, different kind of animation. So uh, yeah, so it's pretty interesting that you know it was drawn. The whole f first season was drawn in cell animation. There might have been some stuff that was drawn in, like, like from the computers, but most of it was drawn in cell animation. And it really looks good. It really does. It makes it look more cartoony looking and not, like, it as... I'm not saying the animation is bad in the other seasons. Although I do have some problems where, like, in season 2 and 3, Spongebob's, like, color, like, sometimes looks weirder looking. Like, it looks, like, the, the his yellow looks off and all that. I still think the animation is not too bad there either, but but season one's probably got the best animation just because I like cell animation. The problem is it's so hard to draw it that you know it's hard to draw cell animation. So that's why people don't do it cell animation anymore. That and it's like very expensive. So um so yeah. Well, hopefully in the future maybe cell animation will return. You know hopefully. Anywho, anywho, let's talk about the episode Ripped Pants. So yeah, this episode definitely came out a long time ago. It makes me feel old because of how long this came out. It came out in 1999. I was trying to find the date. Yeah, well, and I, I found it on, 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 um, you know, I found it on uh, Paramount+. Plus. I'm not sure if um it's the right date, though, or not, because, um... The fir very first episode it came out in like May, and this one came out all the way in July. So I'm like, it doesn't seem right, but I'm just gonna go with it because I couldn't find it on Google. And uh, you know, I, I'm just gonna go with it. So yeah, I guess we'll just go with it and uh, just guess if it's actually, we'll assume it's actually the right date because I don't know because Blue's Clues, a lot of episodes on on there are also. Are also those are also out of out of order to the dates are out of order and all that on there too. Like some of them are way off. Like some episodes came out like 2002, 2003, and they're like, and they're they're, they're dates all the way back from 1996, which makes no sense. So I don't know if this is actually right or not. So yeah. Anywho, um, yes, this episode came out a long time ago, and it's actually the, one of the very first episodes, the second episode. It's not, it's not showing up either, because I forgot to add it. 
But it's all right though. It's actually the 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 episode date is actually, you know, it's actually in the next episode I'm reviewing too. Because I'm reviewing two episodes. We'll get to the other episode in a second. So um. So yeah, um, so Rip Pants though is definitely an interesting episode. Um, so the episode is about um SpongeBob getting jealous of Sandy, you know, and all that, and because Larry is a lot better at stuff than he is, you know. We've all been there. We've all gotten jealous of of people. I know I have. Heck, in school, I don't know if I told you guys this before or not, but in school I got jealous of a girl in school. She was like. Uh, she was very good at stuff. Um, she's actually the, girl, the same girl that doesn't like me anymore because of a situation that happened at school. I told you guys about, but but I did get. I still got jealous of her, you know, because she was, you know, better at stuff than I was, you know. Sometimes you just can't let the jealousy get to you, though. Sometimes you gotta. It's, sometimes you're gonna get jealous, but sometimes you just gotta learn to control your emotions, which I'm terrible at still. I'm still learning to do that to this day. I, I really am. But, um, but yeah, so basically, though, this episode, though, is, um, this episode is definitely about Spongebob getting jealous of, 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 you know, Larry being better at him than Sandy. Now, I think this is much more than that, because, um, I think originally Spongebob was supposed to have feelings for Sandy. You can really see in this episode, you can really see it. There's actually another episode just like this one, season one, where, um, where, you know, um, where you can see that, like, in Muscle Bob, Buff Pants, he gets jealous of, of Larity and all that, and, and he wants, he wants to, and, well, he, well, he wants to impress Sandy, is what he wants to do. Well, he doesn't get jealous of Larry in that episode, but he does get, um, Larry is in the episode for a little bit. I like this episode where he's in it the for the entire episode. He's only in like a like a segment or so, a couple of segments, but because he is in more than one, but but he, he does get jealous, and, uh, you know, and all that, and he wants to show Sandy. So, because people do that sometimes. Sometimes they do that. They want to, you know, they want to show their toughness and all that, and then being goofy when they're in love with someone. Now, obviously, this was dropped later down the road because Steven Hilberg didn't want Spongebob to be in love with someone, but this was different. Like, even even in Pickles, um, Spongebob had a rival, which they sadly dropped, which I'm kind of upset about. I don't know why they dropped it. I mean, they wanted Spongebob not to have a rival, but I might think he was such a great character. They could have done so much with him, but unfortunately, yeah, he, they dropped him. But... But yeah, so there's there's some things I disagree with Stephen Hill. Where he he's he's still a great guy. I still miss him. I think I, he was a good part of the show. But I do disagree with some decisions he made too. But I still think he's a great guy. I don't think he's like Butch Hartman or um or Seth MacFarlane. Well, Seth MacFarlane ain't awful, but Seth MacFarlane on Family Guy has some problems too. But. But but I do think you know Stephen Hillberg is definitely pretty good. I'm. It's sad he passed away though, but he did make a great show, and this episode definitely is is pretty good. So yeah, like, like yeah, basically though, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of carried away here, but you know, I'm that's basically where that came from was the whole love thing, Sandy, you know, and SpongeBob, well, having a thing for each other, and um, and uh, yeah, so um, so basically though, yeah, they um. He he does he, he ends up messing up by trying to pick up a stick. When I was little, I thought the stick was stuck to the ground. I'm not gonna lie, I really I thought the, the, the stick was like like gl glued was like glued to the ground or something. I don't know why. Like like it was just glue it was glued to the ground. But I'm like, why would that make it, that doesn't make any sense? Because he picked it up before he put marshmallows on it. Because the marshmallows are like Dumbo's. But, um, yeah, so he picked up this stick, and I thought it was, like, glued to the to the ground, but no, it wasn't. It, it wasn't blue, glued to the ground. It was just, he just can't pick it up because he's weak. But he ends up finding another talent that actually everyone likes. It's him ripping his pants. Yeah, he rips his pants. 
You know, I don't want to tell you guys how many times I, I rip my pants. I do it all the time. It's honestly kind of embarrassing. I couldn't do what SpongeBob does, but yeah, I rip my pants all the time. I I keep doing it. I don't know what's causing it, but yeah, I keep ripping my pants. I even ripped my, my jeans I just got about a few months ago. I ripped them. So yeah, unfortunately, they got ripped. I don't know how long they were ripped because I was wearing them uh, and all that. And I guess they could have ripped when I first put them on. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, my pants ripped too. So, you know, I can be with Spongebob on that one. So he ends up, you know, going around impressing everyone. And we get this, we get this dude, um, I think his name's Scooter. I think he's called Scooter. Um, Scooter is um, a, cur a character that's actually appeared quite a bit on Spongebob. He's appeared, um, uh, but Scooter is, uh, is, is the guy, is the, the fish guy who's like, like, say, dude, you know, and all that, because he's like a surfer and all that. But I, I, I like Scooter, he's pretty cool, and, you know, he's like, He's like laughing at Spongebob and all that, you know, not at him, but with him, because everyone thinks it's funny. But you know, you know how it goes with jokes. Unfortunately, after a while, people will get tired of it, you know. That's what starts to happen with Spongebob. He takes the joke way too far, and he keeps ripping his pants. He, uh, he keeps ripping them, and, uh... But he keeps ripping them, and eventually he... I guess pisses off people at, at, at um, a concession stand or something and all that with burgers and stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the jokes are kind of funny. They're actually pretty funny. Like, he, he's like, like, he's, you know, he's, he makes a joke about delivering, like, um, 20 cases of ripped pants. That's pretty funny and all that. So, it, there's, a, there's quite a bit of jokes there. So, they try to make it where the audience isn't bored, but they, the characters are. I like that. That's the problem with a lot of later episodes of this show and others in general. They, they they run the joke way too far to the ground and it's not funny because, you know, they don't change it up. They just use the same joke and it makes it boring as as hell. And I'm glad, I'm glad, you know, they actually, you know, make the jokes work. They make it work in this episode. I like that. I wish that they would, you know, do that more in other shows too. But, I don't know, but in, in other episodes too, because this show does that too, where it has a bunch of repeated jokes and they're not really funny and all that, but, but I do, but I do li like how they, they change it up and make it work in this, in this episode. Now, apparently it doesn't get, it doesn't stop there, apparently. Yeah, Spongebob goes way overboard when he apparently is ripping his pants on, on the, uh, on the, uh, d um, surfboard. I can't surf. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot surf. I don't. I don't know how to surf. I don't know how to surf, but I hear people people who do it actually really enjoy surfing. But um, but yeah, he ends up surfing, rips his pants, and then he crashes his surfboard, and everyone thinks he drowned, which is honestly an emotional scene. It really is. But then he reveals that it was it was. It was he was making a joke about ripping his pants. Everyone was pissed, including Sandy, who he was trying to impress in the first place. So, um, so yeah, he rips his pants and all that, and apparently, uh, he does it so much that apparently people are just tired of it, and, you know, ripping, I mean, basically faking your own death is going way too far. And then, you know, I guess, he takes his own, his whole pants off at one point, point. they eventually run off. I mean, they walk off, which is pretty funny. Yeah, they just they walk off. They come alive and walk off. That's kind of the that's kind of the randomness. I feel like SpongeBob's kind of missing. Is they they kind of just you know don't really um, actually they know they have randomness now. They have a lot of it now in current seasons, but I think they take it a little too far in the current seasons. They they make they they p poke fun at well like randomness and all that way too much, and it just the, the jokes just get old. But here, it just hit his pants just walking off is something you don't really expect from the earlier seasons of the show. But yeah, so basically though, yeah, he, yeah, he, apparently his pants walk off, which I'm not gonna sure how that happens, but hey, it's random, and it's not like anyone was expecting it. 
Because in the newer seasons, you would expect that stuff all the time. But, but yeah, since this is the first season of the show, you're not going to expect something like that. And then, uh, I guess he finds other people who, um, who, um, you know, one gets sunburnt, the other, his buns get destroyed or something by sand, and then, uh, and then a big whale gets, gets, comes out of the ground, because everyone forgot he was buried there, which is honestly depressing as hell. I mean, this freaking poor whale was just buried in the sand, everyone just left him there. Like, jeez, what, what a bunch of jackasses. They just left him there to freaking just suffer on the sand. But, uh, yeah. Ironically, too, that this is actually the, f the first episode to have a whale in it, too. Later down the road, we'll get Pearl, which is Mr. Krabs' daughter, but this is actually the first episode to have, to have, um, a, an, a, like, a, an actual whale in it, and it's not Pearl. So, it's pretty ironic. But there will be other whales down the road, too, that, that are characters, but, but this is the first time we actually see a whale in, a, in, the, in this show, and it's not Pearl. It's a different whale, which is pretty ironic. So, um, so, uh, yeah, so that's pretty ironic, but yeah, it's still sad his, his friends just ditched him there like a bunch of dicks, but, you know, hey, I don't know. But then they, then they go in, and, and this is probably my favorite part of the episode, is the song. I gotta say, I love the Rip Pants song. It's really good. Even though it's a knockoff of, a, of a, an, another song that, that came out, I still really like it. It's still really good and catchy. I really enjoy the song, and, uh, now I haven't heard the, the knockoff for, I mean, the original version in a long time, but I, I do remember liking this one better, but, you know, it's just, it's, it, the other one was still good, too, I remember that, but, yeah, Spongebob on, the Spongebob movie would do the same thing, it'll have, like, the Goofy Goofer song towards the end, and it's, it's a knockoff of something else. But, the, but both songs are pretty good. This one's the same way. This one's definitely good, too. I, I like this one a lot, even though it's a knockoff. Heck, when I was little, I would go on the PlayStation 2, and I, and I you know, back when the you know, DVDs were a thing, and I'd, I'd play this song all the time. Like, I would rewind the, the episode and play this song all the time, because I loved it so much. That was on my season, my seasonal, um... Spongebob episodes, my box set, because I had, like, season one, two, and three on my um, box set. I had, I had, I had all that, and I had season four or five, but apparently I didn't know when I was younger that I, I didn't know that they were, that they were split in half, like, the, because the first season, the, the, all the, see, the whole season is in one package, while the season four and five were split, so, when I got to season four and five, I, I realized I didn't have all the episodes, so I, I unfortunately could not watch all the episodes, but, but yeah, season one it was like that, and yeah, I, unfortunately the, the the box sets are now destroyed. They're all destroyed. I I threw out the last of the cases, and now I have the hundred episodes of SpongeBob, which is honestly pretty cool. I do miss the box set SpongeBob episodes, but I do like these ones too. They're pretty good. But um, but yeah um. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta say though, um, I gotta say that I actually do, um, I do, do like the song. I really do like it. I don't know if it's top 10 material. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say because Spongebob has a lot of great songs, but this one's definitely up there. This one is really good. This one's really good and I do, I definitely like it. But yeah, but but yeah, apparently Sandy ends up forgiving him at the end, and uh, and then you know we then we get to the the very end where we um where we have um well we get to the very end and we have um literally getting his pants signed and SpongeBob rips his underwear. The reason why I bring that up because I can't just figure it out if he actually did that on purpose or he did that on accident because uh because I because I mean. It looked like he he, he ripped it on accident because he's covering himself, but then he has that look on his eyes like he did it on purpose. So I'm not sure if he did it on purpose or not, but but yeah. So that's basically ripped pants. Um, definitely a really good episode. I definitely really like this episode. This one is gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and give this episode. 
120 points. Yes, 120 points. This episode is really good. Like, I really adored this episode. I think it's funny. I think it's enjoyable. I just like the whole the whole beach setting. I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm obsessed with beaches. I probably wouldn't live on a beach, but I do I do like beach settings on, on shows and stuff. They're really cool. Like, they really are. I like beaches. They're just, they're just really cool, and, um... And, um... You know, I, I just really like them. I also like that a lot of times the beach music is just really good. Also, this is a fun fact, too. SpongeBob's um, pants are actually um, blue in the earlier seasons and not red. For some reason, in season 6, they changed the, um, the, the trunks to, like, red. I'm not sure why. I tried looking it up and finding research on it, but I couldn't find it. I could not find it at all, but apparently, yeah, so Spongebob's trunks are changed color throughout the series. I'm not sure why they tr changed them. I r red's okay on him, but I like the blue color better. The blue color looks a lot better on him, in my opinion, but red's pretty cool, too. I I'm not gonna lie, red looks good. But yeah, but it's just weird, like... It's weird how his trunks just change color, like, they just change color and... Uh, they're not, you know, they're no longer blue in the later seasons that are, that are, you know, red. And I know that because I'm in season 9, he's also wearing, um, red pants, like red tr trunks too. So, they changed it from blue to red. I'm not sure why they did that, but they did. But I figured I'd point that out just because, you know, you know, be because, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm curious to why it changed, they changed that. If you guys know that, no, let me know down in the comments below because I'm very curious on why they changed the, the trunks. But uh, the red ones look good on them too. But I think the blue ones just look better. Blue is a good color. I like blue. Red is a good color too, but blue is pretty good too. That's, that's why. That's why I chose this. Um, you know, this card color here that I'm, that I'm showing off because it's it's blue. That's the same color as his trunks. Although his trunks are a bit darker blue and mine's a bit lighter blue, but still. I figured, figured I'd show that off. So, uh, yeah. But I don't know if I have really anything else to say about this episode. I kind of, kind of, I think this was a little bit longer of a review here, but. But yeah, I figured I, I'd go into detail about it because I really like this episode and I really want you guys to. I don't want to explain why I like it, you know, because I feel like if I just, if I just go, go by it very fast, I'm not really going into detail why I like it. So, uh, yeah. But now we're going to move on to another episode. Yeah, I have one more on this list. I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have one more, and, uh, it is Squidward. Now, before I talk about this episode, before I talk about it, I want to explain something here. Um, I was actually going back and forth on reviewing this episode or another beach episode. The reason why I, the reason why I say that is because um, there's not really too many beach episodes of SpongeBob, and uh, and I thought about doing like one from season six. There's actually two that actually take place at a beach, but they're not really full episodes, and I'm like they're kind of back to back, and I might review them both down the road maybe. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to review this episode instead. Because I'm like, when I did, when I did this a um, couple years ago when I did this, I went and reviewed um, a good and bad episode of um, season 1 through um, 12. I really didn't review this episode, I mean, a bad episode. I just didn't. I reviewed, the reason I reviewed Get Good Neighbors is because I thought that, thought that episode would be bad, but it turns out it was at least alright. So, um, so yeah, that's why I didn't, um, that's why I didn't review that, so. So, but that's why I chose this one, because I'm like, you know, I'm going to be going back, back to, you know, doing that down the road, and I want to review an episode that's kind of a little frustrating more than Good Neighbors. So, I'm not saying my opinion, Good Neighbors is a bit overhated, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. If you guys want to hear my thoughts on it, I'll be putting this, these episodes in the same playlist as the Nickelodeon reviews. So, yeah, it'll be there. 
But yeah, those are, those are kind of outdated though because I'm I'm sh video on the TV. I'm not doing this, but it's all right. It's it's me. It's showing that I'm improving my videos, so you guys know. But yeah, that's why I'm doing that. Also, I forgot to also mention that I did not have the the emojis here um, in my other review that I just did a second ago for Rip Pants. That is because I forgot to put that in there too. That is in here now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm you, do, trying to do the emojis too because that will give my videos more stuff into them. And since I don't have an avatar right now, that's why I'm using the emojis. So, so yeah, but yeah, I use the emojis in my thumbnails a lot of times. Not always, unless I have something interesting to say. I don't really usually do that, but I try, I try to have emojis in my thumbnails just because I think it's pretty cool. But anywho, anywho, let's go ahead and talk about this episode now. So, so Squidward is a season four episode that came out all the way back in 2007. And I gotta say, this episode does not start off very good. It, it does not start off very good at all. It actually starts off pretty, um, per, pretty bad. So with good neighbors, at least good neighbors, SpongeBob and Patrick are at least trying to help, you know, Squidward by giving him his newspapers and stuff and all that. And, you know, they do they do things in the episode to actually help Squidward. But in this episode, freaking SpongeBob is just completely oblivious to, like, you know, to what Squidward wants. Squidward wants to be left alone. And unlike, and unlike good neighbors where, like, where, like, you know, Spongebob, yeah, he was being oblivious, and so was Patrick. But, but, basically, um, in that episode, you know, they were at least trying to help Squidward out and make him feel good, good and welcome. Here, it's just Spongebob constantly freaking bugging Squidward to the point where even the audience, even including myself, is freaking uncomfortable. Now, Spongebob has broken the Squidward's house many times in the past. Many times. Heck, in, in the one of the very first episodes of Spongebob, Patrick is literally... No, this is not Spongebob, this is Patrick. But Patrick is literally freaking bathing in, in, in Spongebob... I mean, Squidward's house. Like, in his, in his bathtub. So they've always been breaking into this house. But they freaking do it, like, constantly in this episode. Now, I get they're trying to set up the plot, but... It just, it just seems very creepy, like, they probably couldn't really do it any other way, but, I'm like, if they can't do it any other way, then why do it at all, you know? I mean, I don't really know, it's just creepy. There's even one point where he's taking a bath, you know, I told you guys that Patrick broke in Squidward's house and was in his bathtub in, like, in season one episode and all that. I forgot what it was called, but it's the episode where, um, you know, Spongebob and Patrick are start fighting because of Squidward and, um, and, and Squidward has to end up coming up with a plan, you know, by involving soda and stuff to, like, you know, um, get them back together, you know, and all that. But, but the thing is, though, it's kind of creepy the way the way the way they do it here. It is. It's creepy. Like Squidward is just taking his bath, and SpongeBob is literally freaking staring at him in a window. Yeah, he's just staring at him in a freaking window. It's just creepy the way he looks when he's doing it. So yeah, it doesn't start off very good. It does. It starts off pretty poorly. But then SpongeBob finally gets it in his noggin that Squidward does not want to, you know, spend time with him. So he decides to make a, a wooden puppet version of him. And I gotta say, Mini Squidward is what he's called in the episode. Mini Squidward's actually um pr pretty nice. I, I kind of like him. I think he's kind of cool looking. Even though he's a replica of the big Squidward, I still like him. I especially like Spongebob's impression in Squidward. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But the thing is, though, is um, what happens is... Uh, what happens is, uh, you know... Um, is that, uh, you know... Um, it ends up interfering with Squidward's life. Because apparently at the Krusty Krab and stuff... Uh, at the Krusty Krab, uh, Squidward's like, you know... Just happening to work and you know, he's telling a joke... He sounds all, you know, you know, like whatever about it, and apparently like the, the customers don't get the joke. But then when Squidward, Mini Squidward says it, then they then suddenly they um they get the joke. 
So you can, you can clearly see that they're kind of shitting on Squidward here, you know. But Squidward's kind of not necessarily in the right here. Squidward's kind of, you know, being a jerk, too. I mean, Squidward's, you know, not, not very happy with this job and all that. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're working and serving customers your food, you got to be happy, you know. I mean, you may not like your job, but you got to show, you got to give the customers, you know, a happy, you know, face. Because otherwise they don't want to work, they want to go eat there or, you know, go shop at there. That's the problem, is that, you know, they, he kind of had a smuggle, not like an angry look, but he had like a smug, you know, whatever look on his face, you know, like he always does when he's delivering the, the food to the customers. So like, I can kind of understand that, but I think the customers just go a bit too far. And they're basically, they make, freak it, they make fun of his, da his dancing, they make fun of his dancing and all that, and Mr. Krabs even gets in on it, and it, it, it makes Squidward, you know, do, um, does, you know, stuff with him, you know, doing the dishes and stuff instead of, um, serving, I mean, well, taking change from people, so. So, yeah, so there, there's quite a bit of problems with this episode, there's quite a problems with it. Now, um... Now again, Squidward is kind of a jerk. Like he pushes, like when he's when they're dancing, showing their booties off. He he pushes his um he pushes them aside and all that. So so uh, yeah, but they they do make fun of him too. So I feel like no no one in here is in the right. They're both they're both like the customers and Squidward are both in the wrong here. I feel like they're both in the wrong and all that. And it, it just makes it kind of not very pleasant to watch. However, what what I do like in this episode, I do like this. I told you guys about them dancing and showing their booty. Yeah, they they dance. Um, they have a dance number, and it goes on for about a minute. And the of the episode, it goes on for about a minute. And I guess Squidward, you know, it, it, well, the dance number is pretty good. I like the the dance number. It, it's pretty cool. The music's pretty good, and I do like them dancing. To, the customers dancing in the air to it. It's pretty cool. Now, now, probably the best part of the episode has to be when Squidward beats the living shit out of the puppet. Now, I told you guys I don't mind mini Squidward, but the fact that this puppet literally stole his life, I'm like, it's so fucking satisfying to see him beat the shit out of this puppet. It's just so satisfying. He ends up going so far to fucking literally eat it. Like, it, it drove him so, in, so insane. So, yeah, so, um... So yeah, there, there's a lot of problems on this episode. There's a lot of problems with it. Like there's a lot of them, and uh, between between it set, setting it up, between you know them setting it up and uh, like and then you know because again they have really no other way. But I'm like they don't if they don't have another way to do it, then they shouldn't do it at all. And then, you know the fact that they had to go to Krusty Krab and have the puppet ru ruin Squidward's life. I have to go ahead and give this one a meh and 45 points. Oops. Hold on a second. Sorry. There we go. I didn't realize I didn't have, I had the sound off on that thing. But yeah, so, um, that, 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 that thing is, though, that, that may, that may sound like, like, you know, like, that should be a bad, right? Well, here's the thing, though. I do like the dance number, and it's not horrible. The only thing that's really frustrating about it is the beginning, like the way they set it up. But it's not, like, horribly frustrating, but it's not very good either. Like, it's it's honestly pretty pretty close to getting a bad. I think I would say the dance number kind of saves the episode. Otherwise, I probably would give it a bad. I mean, Squidward is kind of a jerk to the customers, and he does have that smuggy look on his face when he's, you know, making the joke. And he doesn't sound very happy, because, you know, when you, when you make a joke, you want to sound happy when you make the joke. Otherwise, people aren't going to find it funny, because you know, so he didn't sound very happy when he was, you know, you know, trying to make the joke to the customers at the, at the Krusty Krab. But the thing is that the customers are complete dicks to him, and, you know, they, they're dicks, and they, uh, and they, uh, you know, they're, they're dicks, and, uh, you know, um, and basically, though, that they're not just, you know, dicks, but they make fun of him and his dancing and him being too tall and all that, and I'm just like, it just kind of hurts the episode a bit. But the thing is, it's not horribly frustrating, it ain't, it's not like choir boys are 
boating bodies. It's not like those episodes where they make it very uncomfortable and horribly frustrating to sit through. But it's not. It's still not very good. But I just can't really. I can't really hate it. I mean that that music number is pretty catchy. Now I can understand why some people a lot hate this episode. I can understand that. But for me, I just can't really hate it. Like I just can't. I just can't. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, tr I'm sorry, but I just really can't hate this episode. I just, I don't think it's great. I think it's definitely deserving of meh. But there are things in the episode I do like. Especially the quote from Patrick. That Patrick shows up in this episode, too. Patrick's, like, saying, You shaved your beard, and, you know, Spongebob's got this weird look at him while, he, while he's looking at Mini Squidward. So I'm like, it's kind of, there, there's some interesting stuff in this episode, but it's just, it's just not very, it's not very entertaining, and it's definitely sad the way Squidward's treating, but, but again, Squidward does kind of deserve it too. I mean, he is kind of, I mean, not the beginning part, the beginning part, he definitely doesn't deserve it, but it definitely, he definitely deserves it, you know, when he's sort of, I mean, sort of at the Krusty Krab, but again, he, he does, he does, you know, he, they do make fun of him, you know, dancing very well and stuff and all that, even though they freaking do the same dancing as him, but... I I just don't think it's an awful episode, but I definitely don't think it's it's very good. Compared to the last episode I reviewed, that one was amazing compared to this one. But, I don't know what to say here, um... I guess we'll just have to, I'm, I'm eventually, I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm definitely going to do seasonal reviews eventually on this channel. I will do those. It probably will be a while, but I'm going to try, try to get to where I can do seasonal reviews. So if I can do some seasonal reviews, I can review each season of the show. Heck, now that I got the thing where, the, the phone where it can record, it can record, you know, over an hour, I might be able to do a seasonal review. I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know how long my phone can go without without stopping. But I want to eventually get to seasonal reviews. I might do them like this. I don't know. I was thinking of doing like Pie Guy. But I want to kind of make mine different than Pie Guy rules. I want to make my videos stand out compared to his. And not completely rip off his videos, you know, because it's not nice. You don't want to rip off people's videos. But, but I do want to make, I do want to make, you know, stuff like that, you know. Well, I could just cover the whole series at once, but I don't know. We'll have to see here. We'll have to see. But anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys enjoy my reviews, then check out my other um my Nickelodeon playlist. There, I have done a lot of reviews on my channel, and I'll see you guys later for more videos. This is Dash Showros. Hope you guys enjoyed SpongeBob's 24th anniversary. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, 20, SpongeBob's 21st, I mean 24th anniversary. And Steven Hilberg, you have you have brought us this great show. May you rest in peace. I love you. You are such a great guy. Anywho, bye bye.